First, though, a kill list found at a local high school. A student at Lee Summit North found the list before Christmas break and turned it over to school officials and police. Police spoke exclusively with Mitch Weber. The list was discovered in early December, but we just heard about this today after a parent of one of the students on the list contacted us. I found out police have the name of the 17-year-old student who might have written the list, but right now detectives can't find him. Classes at Lee Summit North High School are back in session after winter break. But one mother contacted us and said her daughter stayed home on Friday in fear. The mother only talked to us over the phone, but told us her daughter's name was one of about five that was written on a student planner. The names were handwritten under the label kill list. Besides the names, there were two drawings, one of a knife and the other a gun. The student who owned the school issued planner told officials she let another student borrow it. A 17 year old boy who is no longer a student at Lee Summit North. Investigation reveals that kid has transferred out of the district to somewhere out of state. Okay, and we've confirmed that okay. as best we can. He's obviously not returning our phone calls, but we have his transfer records have been mailed to a school out of state. The school contacted all of the families of the girls whose names were on the list. Detectives are now only left with one option. Our investigation, what's left of it, will focus on trying to truly get a hold of this second party, this person out in this out of state. We did ask the school district for a statement and we never received one. Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.